Would you have salmon sperm injected into your skin in the name of beauty? Well, I'm Dr. Selena Zimri. I'm a cosmetic doctor of 15 years. I'm here to explain what polynucleotides are, aka salmon sperm, and what they can do to your skin. So what are polynucleotides? Polynucleotides are a chain of DNA nucleotides or a chain of DNA molecules. Now they are derived from salmon and trout gonads. So not the sperm itself, but from the gonads, the DNA is extracted, it's sterilized, purified, and you get a pure polynucleotide as an end result, which is devoid of any animal proteins or lipids, making it very safe to inject into human skin. And therefore things like allergy and immune response risks are very, very low. So how safe are polynucleotides? Well, polynucleotides have actually been around a while. They've been around since the 80s for wound healing purposes. And there's over 90 clinical studies around about 34 randomized controlled trials as well associated to the results and effectiveness of polynucleotides. So it's a pretty safe treatment that's been around longer than it has been in cosmetic medicine. Polynucleotides are dose dependent, which means you need a specific dose over a certain specific period of time in order to get the best results. So that's usually around about three sessions every two to four weeks for the first three together. And then you can repeat them nine to 12 monthly, depending on what outcome you'd like. The mechanism of action of polynucleotides is that they have a regenerative effect. So they improve the quality of your skin. They help with fine lines and wrinkles. And how they do that is by signaling cells in our skin called fibroblasts. Now these cells are responsible for producing collagen and elastin in our skin. It also helps with an anti-inflammatory effect, which is why it can be quite useful in cases like rosacea to reduce inflammation. It also has an effect on our vascularity, which can then improve blood flow to the area, especially useful for areas such as the eye. And it can also have an effect on our fat cells to improve the plumpness of our skin in the deeper layers. And finally, it can also help to stabilize melanocytes in the area, which are those cells that produce pigment. So it's great for people with uh, pigment prone skin or pigment related issues under the eyes or in the face generally. So who needs polynucleotides and who are the ideal candidates? Well, pretty much anyone really. So it's, it's a regenerative treatment, which means it's great for anti-aging, wrinkles, fine lines, dehydrated, damaged skin, great for mild rosacea sufferers because of the anti-inflammatory effect. Uh, for those with acne scars, it's also got great evidence for hair loss, thinning, alopecia, and also pre and post surgery, um, great for wound healing and for improved outcomes post surgery for scarring. And it's also good for things like for people with poor skin quality. So for example, under the eyes, it's good for dark circles to improve the laxity under the eyes and the skin quality. So after the treatment, what to expect? Now, the treatment is usually delivered either via needle or using a device called a cannula, which goes under the skin um, to deliver the product in a little bit more of a less sort of needle bruisey way. Um, and essentially after either way, you can expect some swelling, puffiness, usually lasts about 24 to 48 hours in most people. Uh, you might have some bruising from the injections um, and you may have some warmth or some irritation around the area for usually 20 to 30 minutes uh, in most cases. It does sting a little bit on delivery. Um, however, that is short lasting um, and, and disappears after a few minutes. In terms of its safety profile, there's actually been no reported serious side effects from this treatment anywhere in the literature, which is fantastic really. So it's really a treatment for people who are really risk averse as well, who would want something more natural. Often I also get asked where how this sits versus things like skin boosters. Now, skin boosters are hyaluronic acid based, so they're great at hydrating the skin and providing some volume, but they do have a, a temporary result and they're essentially short lasting. Now, the difference with polynucleotides is that they have that regenerative benefit. So it's that increased collagen and elastin production, which skin boosters don't have. And they are longer lasting treatments because that regenerative effect lasts longer than short term hyaluronic acid in the skin. However, there's no volumizing effect. So unless you're using a polynucleotide that is mixed with hyaluronic acid, you don't actually get any volume from the product. The product actually dissipates and it's actually the on a, on a cellular level that it works. The great thing with polynucleotides also is that you can combine them with any other treatment essentially. Often in clinic we combine them with things like microneedling and radiofrequencies. So for example our Morpheus 8 devices. We also combine it with things like CO2 lasers to help with recovery and to help with hydration of the skin. I also combine it with filler itself. So for example those who might need a bit of cheek support but improve skin quality around the eyes. I hope you found that helpful and if you have any questions please drop a comment below. 
And thank you so much for listening. Bye until next time.